At American Scholar, part of what we offer are academic services because we know that students are going to need support while they're here. The first and most important part is English as a second language. We have our own ESL instructors. They always have the option to get additional lessons in ESL, to practice reading and speaking and listening uh, with our staff and with fellow students. And so that's a very good thing for them because even if the students already come with a high level of proficiency, if they want to go to university, we want to make sure that they are as prepared as possible. The approach that we take with ESL is to provide the students with the ability to actually improve their own English outside the classroom in addition to inside. So while we do cater to their particular strengths and weaknesses by splitting them into groups and having classes right on the campus, we also try to establish a rapport with them so that they become more comfortable just using the language in any particular environment. So when we can establish that with students, the idea is that it creates a sort of snowball effect where they become more willing to speak up in the classroom and ask their teacher questions. And when they do that, that both improves their English and helps them in that particular class. The second part of our academic services is tutoring. And tutoring is going to be very important not only to make sure that you can ask questions about your assignments or topics that maybe you didn't quite understand, but also we want to make sure that you understand how American school works, what American teachers are going to be looking for, and therefore how to properly study and prepare. We know where international students are coming from, we understand the kind of issues that they sometimes have, and we are prepared to help with that. The last part, and in some ways a critical part, is our academic advising. And a lot of what advising does can be boiled down to figuring out who you are, figuring out what you have to offer the world, and figuring out what you want. And ultimately, that is part of what the Roadmap for Advising does. It helps you to develop that self-awareness, to develop those skills, and to then demonstrate that this is who I am and what I have to offer and where I want to go.